Okay, so I'd like to do a little bit of something with um, <clears throat> these circuits and time constants and fun things like that that I know you really, really love. So, I, I mean, these are really, really cool. I, um, I just wish we had more time to play with them. Uh, and possibly you could if we teach the electronics class again. Uh, but that's not going to happen next semester, so that doesn't mean much for um, most of you. So I'm going to want to put together a circuit that looks sort of like this. I'm going to give it a battery, but I'm going to give it, give it a battery that looks like the sort of battery that I'm going to talk to you about in class. This may be a class um, or two after I do this uh, resistor, capacitor, transient thing, but um, that's okay because it doesn't really affect this problem um, the way I've written it. So I'm just sitting here drawing my um, circuit diagram. Um, so we have a switch here, we have a battery here, um, Actually, this whole thing models the battery. And I'm going to add in, a, on top of this capacitor, I'll add in a resistor over here as well. So we've got a capacitor and a resistor both. And then we'll have another capacitor over here. So um, I like this problem. I think I used it last year in the problem set and and possibly in the um, test. It's, it's very nice, it's very simple. And, um, and we can learn a few things from it, right? So, it, so it's really nice. Um, so this is our battery. Like I said, we model it with an internal resistance. That's not really going to affect this problem. Uh, we've got another resistance here. Uh, resist, we've got a resistor here. Uh, we've got a capacitor and another capacitor over there. Our switch will let us charge up the battery or charge up the capacitor. That's what we're going to do first. And um, I think it would be ideal if I had a fake ground or something over here, but that's not really necessary at this point. Um, and so we've got another char capacitor here, so when I switch this switch over here, then, um, then we'll take the charge from this capacitor and put some of it on that capacitor, okay? So that's basically the gist of this problem, all right? We're going to, so we've got, um, battery, two capacitors, and a resistor. And we're going to look at um, so, some of the important things from the um, transients and stuff like that. Uh, given a circuit, and we've got two, with two capacitors with capacitance C1, C2, um, a resistor with a resistance R, a particular, a single um, battery with um, EMF V and resistance and internal resistance little r. And what would we like to find now? like to find a few things. Um, first thing we're, I'm going to find is the um, when this switch is when the switch is on the battery. I want to find um, what the uh, final charge on this capacitor is. So that would be Q0, I'll call that Q0. Um, B, um, the time constant.
for charging C2. Uh, using C1. And we'll just call that tau. Tau is a good letter. And um, C, uh, let's find the um, final charge on C1 and C2. And we'll call those final charges Q1 and Q2. Okay. Um, the concept here is transients equilibrium, whatever I want to call it. And so, what's my strategy? Um, well, for A, my strategy is to uh, is to use the um, capacitor equation. Uh, for this, for this case, um, that's all we'll need to do. For B, um, what would I like to do? Well, I'd first like to set up the equation for um, for this outer circuit, for outer loop. I'll just call it a loop because setting it up will not be much. Um, then we'll solve for Q dot. And then what we want, then we'll see the, um, then we'll see what the uh, time constant is. So we'll just have to identify um, time constant. Okay. And oh, give it a little bit more room. Um, can you see this? No. Huh. And five for part C here. Um, we'll use this same equation up here, but we'll set Q dot equal to zero. And after we set Q dot equal to zero, we'll be able to find um, we'll be able to find um, C one and C two, or Q one and Q two. So it'll it'll be pretty pretty quick. So let's start with the capacitor equation. All right. Well, right. So Q zero is equal to C V. Right. That's that's what we're going to end up with. That's perfectly fine. The C here is C1. The V is the V there. That's that's what it charges up to. That's our initial condition. Um, now we're going to, in this, we're going to assume that C2 is not initially charged. So it's at Q equals zero when we turn the switch on. Um, like I said, I should have done a little extra thing here and grounded it, grounded it out when this when, when the switch is off, but. Don't really need to do that. We can just say it. So for the loop, we've got our equation. We go C1. So we have, uh, so remember we want um, the total delta V, which is equal to delta V uh, C1 plus delta VR minus delta V. Oh, I guess it's plus delta V C2, but it's going to be negative uh, because this, you know, if this is positive and this is negative, then this is positive and this is negative, and we're going the opposite direction. So, however, it actually works. Um, we'll do it that way. So, now we just use basically this equation. So, we're going to have um, Q. Uh, 1 over uh, Q1 over C1 here, right? And then we'll have um, plus uh, Q dot R 
and we'll make that queued up too. It doesn't really matter. Whatever leaves here goes goes there. Um, so we'll be fine with that, and we'll subtract Q2 over C2, and that's all equal to zero. And that means um, if we solve for Q dot, this is equal to um, Q1 over C1 plus Q2 over C2. And there's an R there. All right. Um, now, this guy here, Q1 is going to be equal to Q0 minus Q2. Okay, so we can just plop that in there, Q0 over RC1. Oh, this guy needs to be minus. Okay, excuse me. Minus um, 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2, Q2 over R. Okay, and we can keep on going with this, right? And we can say this is... Um, C1 plus C2 over C1, C2, Q2 over R. All right. So this was our answer to A. This is going to everything, one over the, um, one over everything but Q2 here is going to be our time constant, right? Because this is just a first order differential equation. Um, this is e to the minus blah, e to the minus um, t over rc, but we've got this rather complicated thing. So our time constant is uh, c1 c2r over c1 plus c2. So that's our time constant. So if they're both the same, c1 and c2 are the same, it's just half the time constant of the, the original one. So that should make a, that should make some sense, right? I hope so. All right. So now, what we want to do is we want to find um, we want to find what the uh, Q two and Q one are. Well, like I said, the best way to go about this is to start by just saying Q dot two is equal to zero, so that. Um, C1 plus C2 over C1, C2. Um, yep, that's a minus and that's a plus. That's a Q0 over R1, C1. Right, so Q2 over R is equal to Q0, R, C1. Okay, so the C1s cancel, the Rs cancel. And so we have um, Q2 is equal to C2 over C1 plus C2, or just the proportion of the capacitance that's actually in, um, in this capacitor here. So that makes plenty of sense. That's exactly what we expect from a capacitance, capacitor, right? If these were two different plates that were connected by a wire and they had the same spacing, and this one had more had twice the area of this one. This one would have twice the um, twice the charge on it as this one. That's what we found in the previous chapter, right? So this makes perfect sense. This is exactly what we were expecting. And Q1, which is going to be um, Q0, forgot our Q0, which is Q0 minus Q2. Well, if we um, do that, we just end up with C1 over C1 plus C2 Q0. And that makes plenty of sense because when you add these up, you just get all the charge. So all the charge in this thing, in this circuit is preserved. Um, when we turn on this switch, nothing dissipates. Uh, it just equili equilibrates between these two capacitors. So it's a fairly simple problem. Um, I like it. Uh, students get confused over it and I don't know why. Um, it's not because of the battery. I just added that because I wrote the lecture for the battery today, and I figured I may as well talk about it in the um, in this problem as well. Um, 
you know, at least let you uh, start thinking about that. Why is there an internal resistance to the battery? Uh, we'll talk about that on Friday. And um, I hope you really like this. I hope you uh, think it's worthwhile and you're able to do stuff like this on the test, okay? So I will talk to you on, uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow actually. Uh, but there will be a Friday coming up, so be, be ready for Friday too, okay? Bye now.